Hi, I'm Lolly, also known as Happy Mummy Shopper. We visited Centre Parks at Longleat Forest and this is my video vlog. I cover the plaza, the subtropical swimming paradise, the sports plaza and the two bedroom New Woodlands Lodge that we stayed in. I also cover the Pancake House and the Village Square. We were there when the winter lights were on so you can see them too. So this is the long drive up to the Centre Parks entrance. At the Arrivals Lodge where you check in you don't need to get out of your car. You get your wristbands, they've got quite a few check-in desks so it doesn't actually take that long and then you drive straight to the car park. You can arrive from 10 o'clock on the morning of your break. If you've paid for early entry then you can currently check in at 2 o'clock to your accommodation and you drive straight on from the Arrivals Lodge. So this is our lodge number, we're at 231, so I've just got in, just going to shut the door behind me. Okay, so this is the lodge, so this is a two bedroom woodland lodge, so we've got a dining table here, this is the lounge area, oh there's me, and we've got the telly, big telly, and then we've also got the fire for our fire logs later. And then we've got a little message here. Uh, Welcome to the Forest of Lights Lodge 231 cleaned by Zeka. I hope you all have a wonderful time. If you've got your chalk, unfortunately we haven't got a lot of chalk, so maybe bring your own. Okay. Oh, and then also we've got, they've given us some dishwasher tabs, got a tea towel, this oh oven gloves and I've got like a, a cloth as well got the cupboards that's the, they've got the dishwasher um, what's under here we've got the bins here and we've got a cutlery drawer okay and this side we've got so you get the microwave and just over here we've got, got the fridge and there's a little freezer compartment like that. Also giving us a couple of little tea bags, the teapot and then you've also got a hob with the oven and then over here I've opened this one and this has got the plates, saucepans and cookware. And then over here, we've got glasses, more wine glasses, drinking cups, and the cups for the tea. And then you've got kettle and toaster. And then through here is the main bedroom. So it's quite big. A big bed. And then you've got storage units here. So you've got a wardrobe. Okay, loads of space in there to put your stuff in. And then there's another one the other side. Exactly the same, let's just check it. Oh no, this one, this has got the hangers in. So it's got hangers. So let's come out of here. Oh, and I'll say, also got a telly to watch. And then in here is the bathroom. Where's the light switch? Oh, light switch is here. There we go. You've got your toilet. You've got loads of towels there. Shower, towel rail. And then what have you got over here? That's where I came in. And then this is the this is where my kids are going to be staying. So you've got the two beds and again you've got storage space over here okay it's very similar to the other room the hangers and they unfortunately do not get a television um, and then you've got a hair hair dryer down there with a mirror a little footstool and there's the window over there and then just back through here I've uh, got cupboards, let me have a look. Uh, not that one. That one, there we go. It's got, okay, that's just the cleaning cupboard. It has got a wooden cot in there. 
and also a high chair, dryer, iron, dustpan and brush. And then this one, oh, you've got an extra, it's another little toilet in there. So just as a little extra, this is the door lock, how to lock your door when you're inside and outside. And also I've noticed that you've got your coat hooks up here and your fire extinguisher. So this is the first time that we've actually taken Birdie to the lodge. Uh, thanks to the Facebook page uh, Longleat Centre Parks and it all worked an absolute treat. As you can see we did have squirrels, birds and we even got the deer. I really recommend the stick on dispenser as the birds love sitting in it. I also bought the smokeless fire log with us. The kids love toasting marshmallows. Um, I did buy the chocolate and white sauce from the Centre Park shop. It was actually just chocolate drops, so I'd recommend bringing your own and melting in the microwave. As you can see, we burnt ours in the oven. So this is the shopping plaza. It has a range of shops, restaurants, bowling and arcade in here. It's where you can find customer services and of course where you find the subtropical swimming paradise. The long leap merchandise with all the soft toys were well, actually quite cute and my son did actually end up buying one of the squirrels. I did find the toy shop was quite expensive but there was some cheaper stuff if you hunted them out like pens and rubbers. This is the Huck's restaurant that we're walking past here. Uh, we didn't eat in here this time. And this is Iguanas, which we did actually eat in. They have some lovely booths to sit in and they have a kids menu too, uh, which has got more plainish food on. There are toilets in Iguanas and you can also see toilets uh, next to Cafe Rouge. The sweet shop is always a must visit for my kids. It's got loads of sweets in there, as you can see, and I like the Centre Parts chocolate, which is great for a present and not too expensive. Um, my daughter did the little selection where you get to choose the individual chocolates. This is the Centre Park shopping market. As you can see, you can buy your fire logs in the shop, but I did buy mine in advance for about £1.50 from B&M. That's the chocolate dip I was talking about earlier. There are a lot of brands in the supermarket if you don't didn't have time for a shop beforehand. Uh, bear in mind that the prices are a little bit more expensive than you would find in a, in a normal supermarket. 
they do have the little supermarket trolleys that my kids insisted on using even though they're a little bit too old for them uh, just to remember the fun memories that they had when they've used them before. This is the gift shop. There is a really nice selection of products in here uh, from lots of different brands. So take a wander with me while I have a look around. They have also got some Centre Parks merchandise in here and the postcards too. My kids love this area, uh, they've got the stepping stones and they've also got the fish in the water. Uh, so you've got the leisure bowl to the right, um, I have heard they're going to be refurbishing the bowling soon. And then we've got the entrance to the subtropical swimming paradise. The swim shop is here if you forget your towels, your swimming costumes, um, you can buy them in here. Um, the prices I thought were quite reasonable and they did have a sale on two while we were there. Uh, my son bought goggles and they were the, the speedy ones for about £12. The lady did let um, him try them on first to check they were the right fit. Going into the swimming pool and we found this feature really useful. The wristband you are given at check-in also acts as your locker key and lodge key and you normally get one per adult. You can see here if you've got your locker number then you can use a little keypad to see what number it is. So we went in just before 10 o'clock this day when the pool opened and you can see it's not too busy.
that's the lazy river to the left there and you can also eat inside the dome The cafe is here and they do have uh, drinks, burgers, sausages if you want to eat while you're in here. This is the entrance to the rapids and then you can also swim around, there's a cold water plunge pool and whirlpools too. Here we go into the rapids. My husband is actually holding the GoPro on this. Um, it's so much fun, we just throw ourselves down it. Uh, if your kids are old enough and can swim, I definitely recommend going down it. You can actually stand up so it's not actually too deep, but you can see it's uh, 1.14 meters. Um, this is the deepest bit when you come out. And then here we are with another entrance to the lazy river where, when you've just come down from the slides. So this is the uh, entrance for the Typhoon and the Cyclone slides. Uh, they've actually got the weighing machine here. Um, you just step on and then you've got the simple green and red light, whether it's okay to go on as a group or an individual. Um, there are also weighing machines before you get on the flumes at the top of the stairs. So good to do here um, to check that it's all okay. So for the tropical cyclone, you can see you need to be 1.22 meters to be able to ride it. The tropical cyclone is for up to four people and the floats are provided when you get up there. With Typhoon, uh, a lot of people were getting the floats at the end of the ride because there was none stacked up. Because uh, you do need to take your float with you and walk up the stairs with them, which is different to the cyclone. 
uh, with regards to the flumes, we did notice they opened at 11 o'clock. Um, the queue did start to form around about 20 minutes before um, 11, so if you want to get on there first thing, uh, then better start queuing early. Um, we did, however, find the queues for the flumes were better in the evening. So this is the dome at night, which is definitely worth doing as it's so pretty and feels so different to the day. And you can see the outside pool is really beautiful and lit up in the blue. And here we go on the rapids again, uh, really good fun. Um, make, sure do it, make sure you do it in the day and the night time. There were free hair dryers in the changing rooms, also shower gel provided by the showers and free machines to spin your swimming costumes too. This is the walk down to the sports plaza. Uh, there is a separate path if you're on a bike. Um, you can also catch the land train too. Uh, when you check in you're given a timetable and that has got all the times and stops on. Um, it does go around the whole site. Uh, we didn't use it this time as the weather was dry um, but I do know that it can get busy. Uh, now we're inside the sports plaza, there's lots of indoor sports here such as badminton, table tennis, squash, the list goes on. Um, you've got the Starbucks here and the main sports cafe. Um, we tried roller skating and they obviously provide you with the skates but you can also have a helmet, wrist pads, elbow pads and knee pads if you want to. Um, you do have to sign a disclaimer as well. So this is the first time we tried the family ball wall. Uh, this was a lot of fun and you get to actually select what games that you want to play. Uh, it's on for about 45 minutes. Um, if you watch my Sports Plaza video, you'll see how I go into more detail on how to use the wall. All of the sports you can book before you go, which I do recommend doing. You can generally cancel pretty much up to the time when, uh, when you do it. Uh, so once your booking slots become available online, I would definitely book these activities in. We found that one activity a day was enough for us with swimming too. Uh, that way we weren't running from place to place like we've done in the past. I hadn't actually seen this before, but you can obviously make your own Centre Park souvenir. Um, you just need to use your card and that costs £1.50. Centre Park is cash free, so do make sure that you have a credit or debit card to pay for any goodies or meals. If you want to use the arcades, there is a minimum spend of £10 and you can only use it on a debit card. Um, credit cards did not work in the machine to get the tokens.
Uh, so yeah, here, so here's the token machine. Uh, you can see um, the, it's card you need to use is your debit card. Uh, this was something I wasn't aware of. So I really recommend the big family quiz if you've got older children. This is the first time we've done it when you get to use your phone. You download the app Speed Quiz in. Uh, there were five rounds and the kids were actually able to help answer the questions and we came fifth. And when we were there, there was also the winter light switch on, which was uh, lots of fun. You can see there's so many lights lit up. They played music uh, between six and nine. Uh, they also have the Forest Fair Cafe, which is open where you can buy hot drinks and there was also hot snacks. It's quite busy for this performance, so if you don't like crowds, maybe avoid this. Um, there's also lots of photo opportunities in the village square. So this is one of the mini playgrounds that's in Centre Parks. We went when it was cold, but you can still have lots of fun. And this one's for all for different age ranges um, as well. So if you have got older kids too, um, then they've obviously also got ones for the uh, smaller kids. This is the Pancake House, and this has to be my favorite restaurant at Centre Parks. You can pre-book this restaurant uh, before you go on the Centre Parks website. I do advise doing this because the people that did turn up and who didn't have a reservation, they did have to wait um, 10 to 20 minutes and they were given a buzzer and had to wait outside the restaurant. We actually ordered a jug of tap water here, which was free. So if you were trying to save costs, you didn't actually have to pay for their drinks. Uh, we ordered the cheese and bacon pancake, the Dutch apple pancake, uh, the kids strawberry pancake and my husband went for the savoury farmer's vegan pancake. Um, there were vegan options on the menu for him. When you exit the park uh, you come across these wooden bins and that's where you have to leave your wristbands. There's one just straight away when you leave past the roundabout and there's also another one near the arrivals of if you end up missing it. Our time at Centre Parts was fantastic. We hadn't been there for about six years and I'd forgotten how much I enjoyed it there. Please like my videos and subscribe if you want to see more family videos that I will be uploading soon. And I've also got more Centre Parks videos coming too. Thanks for watching.